If you've been following Higher Eye Chick, who lives at TikTok, you've probably been seeing all the stories about how there's a lot of schools, hospitals, nurses, teachers that are getting death threats, bomb threats, and they're accelerating. And there's more and more now. Now we have dozens, dozens of schools that are getting bomb threats and these surges in the amount of threats that are being received to institutions that have children in them are happening shortly after higher right check of libs of TikTok makes a post about them and then all of a sudden people get threatened. The amazing irony of all this is that libs of TikTok's catchphrase is they're coming for your kids when that is literally what they're doing here. It seems like you can make a post on your social media and then boom, uh, one of these schools or hospitals. And again, like how fucking ghoulish do you have to be to not see the writing on the wall there? Schools and hospitals get bomb threats and death threats. At least 11 schools or school districts were uh, that were targeted by the account Libs of TikTok over anti-LGBTQ plus grooming conspiracies last month received bomb threats just days later. Libs of TikTok, helmed by former real estate agent Haya Rychek, has positioned itself as a vigilante crusader against wokeness in schools and culture and has been heavily criticized as being a smokescreen for de uh, denigrating LGBTQ plus people. Rychek via Libs of TikTok solicits tips from her 2.5 million followers on X, the platform formerly known as Twitter, ranging from plied, uh, pride flags being displayed in classrooms, gender queer teachers just existing, or stalking library books that contain information about gender identity or sexual orientation, and then puts those schools or school districts on blast. Libs of TikTok has played a central role in fermenting the war on, quote, grooming, which is a right-wing label applied to any form of education or entertainment that incorporates queer themes, as well as uh, a variety of other things. The account has risen in influence as many mainstream Republicans have actively campaigned against and enacted policies chipping away at LGBTQ plus rights over the past several years. Right check dined with former President Donald Trump earlier this year, and members of Cronless routinely engage with Libs of TikTok posts, including Ron DeSantis, campaign manager, as do far-right groups, including neo-Nazis. It's perhaps not exactly surprising that schools or individuals who are featured on Libs of TikTok end up facing a barrage of trolls and harassment. Last summer, hospitals, including Bo uh, Boston Children's Hospital in particular, were besieged by bomb threats after Libs of TikTok and similar accounts obsessively highlighted the fact that they were offering gender-affirming care to transgender youth. Last week, a 37-year-old woman from Westfield, Massachusetts, pleaded guilty to charges linked to calling the hoax a uh, bomb threat to the hospital. But bomb threats targeting schools or school districts following libs of TikTok posts appear a particularly ominous escalation. Right check in a series of emails with Vice News would not say if she felt any responsibility for the threats, and instead insinuated the threats had nothing to do with her or her followers. She then posted the email chain to her followers on a personal account on X, which was then amplified by libs of TikTok account. Vice News reached out to all 42 school districts, schools, colleges, businesses, and event organizers that were mentioned libs of TikTok posts in September. The majority didn't respond, and only th three school districts said they hadn't received bomb threats as a result of being featured in Libs of TikTok post. One of those is in North Kansas City, Missouri, and was targeted by an, a trans high school uh, senior was crowned homecoming queen. She bore the brunt of the threats and harassment, but the 11 schools or school districts that did report receiving bomb threats indicate a disturbing pattern. So here's a list of school districts and uh, the distance, usually within a day or 24 hours, of higher right check and Libs of TikTok posting something and then them receiving bomb threats and death threats. The flurry of threats against school districts were spotlighted by Libs of TikTok coincides with the more general surge in threats, bomb hoaxes, and swatting calls against schools. Threats against schools in 2022 were up by 60% compared to the previous year. While schools were unable to say for certain whether they, uh, they, the threats they received were linked to Libs of TikTok, citing ongoing police investigation, many noted the level of the threat received was highly unusual. Some of those who were targeted by Libs of TikTok in September who didn't receive bomb threats instead reported vicious harassment, doxing, and intimidation. Erica, a school bus driver in the Pittsburgh area, told Vice News that her life was turned upside down when a screenshot from her private Facebook account made its way to Libs of TikTok. The post showed a sheet of stickers she'd ordered, which included pride flags and innocuous slogans like, all humans are beautiful, this is a safe space, love always wins, in a rainbow font. I got new stickers, Erica wrote in a Facebook post, adding a smiley face emoji. Gonna get some magnet sheets so I can turn them into magnets and put them on my bus. Then, Libs of TikTok says, meet Erica, a school bus driver. She's covering her school bus, which she uses to transport young children with trans propaganda. Why would a school bus have signs promoting the sexualization of children? And uh, that's the thing I've been talking about for what feels a really long time now. Because fucking 
so many people were like, well, Libs of TikTok is just posting cringe, uh, lib shit. You know, if all these lib teachers want to post cringe, well, why is it a bad thing if their cringe is then put in and uh, in a cringe compilation? Isn't that what this is? Don't, don't lefties make cringe compilations of right-wingers all the time? And I keep saying there's a huge difference if you post something and be like, yo, this is cringe. Look how cringy this is. Look, look at these cringy people being cringe. Uh, that's different than being like, hey, look at this pedophile child rapist. Hey, 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 look at this person sexualizing kids. Look at this groomer. Look at this pedo. Look at these groomers grooming children. Hey, they're coming for your kids. Look at these groomers coming for your kids. Massive ass difference. What a surprise that like all of a sudden people who are indoctrinated with this shit 24-7, they see this and then all of a sudden they're like, what? Oh, I knew it. Yet another case of the woke mind virus trying to perverse the kids. We have to take action. We have to do something. Within 24 hours of the post going up, Erica was swarmed by online harassment. A friend informed her that uh, she was on an account called Libs at TikTok, which she'd never heard of. Yeah, because like for a lot of these people, uh, you make a, a post, and by the way, a post on a private Facebook account. You make a post on your private Facebook account about fucking joy and love, which is just the fucking most dark aspect of the story. Hey, uh, you know, uh, let's spread love. All humans are beautiful, all this kind of stuff. And then all of a sudden, all of your socials are getting flooded with people being like, you groomer pedophile, you'll get the bullet. All that kind of thing. like, what the fuck? Where did all this come from? And then all of a sudden it's like, oh, uh, yeah, you were just put on blast by uh, Libs of TikTok. When she found the posting, Erica said that she was shocked to see it had uh, almost 800 comments underneath it, calling her a groomer, saying she should be fired, uh, and that she was a perfect example why children should be homeschooled. She received a handwritten birthday card to her home address, which asked her to refrain from recruiting minors on the job into her satanic beliefs. Erica, thank you for being a supportive person and wanting to, quote, protect children. Please consider parents' feelings uh, also through. In the U.S., part of free speech is a freedom of religion, and some don't agree with your God and teachings from the Talmud. Uh, you have the right to worship Baal, but kindly ask that you refrain from recruiting minors on the job. Sent to her fucking house. Days after Libs and TikTok posts went up, Erica's supervisor gave her a heads up that the superintendent had been fielding a ton of complaints and had been asked by board members to search her bus and take photos. There's sunflowers and butterflies on my bus. I have a few magnets that say, be kind. I was never reprimanded. They said they are behind me. They did what they asked, but uh, I do not put any rainbow or allied supportive magnets on display on my bus. And that's effective terrorism, everybody. Because now the school thinks that a symbol, refracted light, is going to get you death threats, so please don't put rainbows up on your bus. You can put sunshine, but if that sunshine were to hit, say, a prism, and then be divided into other bands of light, well, yes, that could get us called groomers, pedophiles, get us hate uh, emails and stuff. And honestly, like from a superintendent perspective, you know, I don't even think they're intentionally doing anything uh, in any way, uh, you know, uh, what is it, instigated by bigotry. It's 100% it's they, they don't want the smoke. They, 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 they don't want the death threats. They, they don't want people calling in death threats. They don't want the kids getting scared. So all of a sudden, uh, you know, a symbol of love is turned into a frightening symbol that could attract people who are a danger to children, which was the goal all along. It, it, that, that, that was the goal. And the sad thing is it's working. The fact that anyone would think I would do something like that would harm a child or someone that's marginalized makes me really sad. It could not be further from the truth. It was so upsetting and I felt like my head was spinning. Everything was so out of control. Erica added that her husband suggested they refrain from hanging a pride flag on the house until this blows over. But I feel if we're not standing up for people who are being targeted, then what are we even doing? How much are we going to tolerate? And we all know the story of someone who hung up a pride flag who was not even queer themselves and uh, she was murdered for having a pride flag in front of her establishment. And of course, the person who committed the vile act had said uh, that, the, you know, this was uh, indoctrinating people and all that kind of stuff, just repeating uh, the same stuff, the same stuff over and over and over. Um, the Talmud, bro, that is deep anti-Semitism. Yeah, I mean, I mean, a lot of the stuff overlaps, right? I mean, you got a lot of the same people who are anti-LGBTQ who are playing into the, it's all part of a Jewish conspiracy, of course, and that, the, yeah, the, like, there's a reason why a lot of these people all of a sudden find themselves in bed with fascists and then neo-Nazis, white supremacists, Christian nationalists, alt writers, and groipers, and, and why they all show up and then they're like, hey, we're all on the same team, right? Yeah, and it's like, what, what? No, 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 I mean, I'm, not, not, I'm not one of you. I, 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 I just wanted to, to protect them kids. And it's like, oh, no, no, we're, we're on the same team. Oh, yeah, we're the baddies. Well, welcome to the baddies. Well, welcome to Team Baddies. We're doing it, you know? Do you enjoy the surfs but prefer not to have to use your eyeballs? Many are saying this. Well, we've got the solution for you. It's the Surf Times in podcast form. 
available on most major podcasting networks now. If you enjoy it, please consider leaving a good review and feedback because it really helps the show out, apparently, and it's free, just like the podcast. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. This show is produced by amazing people like you, and if you want to help us out, please consider donating over at patreon.com slash theserfs. The show is made possible thanks to Amazing Fletch, Anna Loves Riley, Ariane McCarthy, Cheryl Alvarez, Doug Cady, Everything Important, Hegbard Celine, Lamedia Panza, Matthew Scarborough, Multimondi, Omni, Peanut Butter Blondie, Political Papi, Quiet 185, Rachel K, Riley and Anna, Roller Dragon, Ruby K, Sir Nickus, Spinach Monster, Stellar Vision, Sebastian Demo, Tech Tink, Trevbot EXE, Words Greenwood, and not to mention all of the amazing and fabulous people you now see before you.